Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Philip and I am an English teacher in Changchun City, Jilin, China. But currently, I am in the Philippines. On this video, I'm going to share different learning platforms, websites, and the ways that I've been using in teaching my university students in China online. I know some of us are required to conduct online classes, and as educators, it is our responsibility to be prepared enough in this mode of teaching and learning. I know how you feel about online classes, but I know we can do it. So without further ado, let's explore different ways on how you'll conduct your online classes. Edmodo. I've been using Edmodo since 2017. This learning platform allows us to share lessons, engage our students in meaningful discussions, and provide feedback on our students' work or comments. You can make groups in Edmodo. Now I have 4G and 4H speaking. Here are the things that you can do on Edmodo. Number one, create meaningful online discussions or online poll. On Edmodo, you can post questions that will require our students to participate and use critical thinking skills. I love this feature of Edmodo because you can see your students' opinion about certain issue or topic. This can serve as an introduction of the lesson. Also, you can write a comment or feedback on their answers. Meaningful discussion questions will encourage them to participate actively. After this, you may discuss the results of the question or poll. On this section, you can also upload files or tasks that you want your learners to download. You can attach lessons, assignments, and quizzes. In my class, I posted documents, review quiz, and video lessons. Your students can download a file and upload it as attachment in the comment section. The results of review will be automatically released after the quiz ends. And video lessons can be viewed again by the learners if they have difficulty understanding the learning content. Number two, photos for critical thinking and deep discussion. Just post a photo with guide questions or clear instructions for your students. I love this because it encourages deep analysis and critical thinking. Below, you will see students' answers or comments about the picture. This will improve their thinking skills because you will ask them to explain the picture's message, to connect this to life, and to reflect about the message of the picture. Again, let's not just stop in providing work to our students. Let's evaluate them by asking them to provide reflection about a specific topic. Number three, quizzes and assignment. Another thing that I like about Edmodo is making and assigning quizzes or assignments. Yes, you can make quizzes on Edmodo. Just go to the library and you will see your quizzes and you can assign them later. If you go to the new tab, you will see that you can upload files, link, Word documents, Excel, and PPTs. If you want to create new quiz, just click New and choose Quiz. In Assigning Quiz, go to your quizzes, choose your quiz, assign, and send to your class. Edmodo can also provide you the scores of each student, so grading the test would not be a problem for teachers. It will be a piece of cake for Edmodo. I love gamifying my classroom. Gamification of learning is something that adds color and excitement to our classroom. 
I like Kahoot, especially in the classroom. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform. Here, you can make quizzes and play these quizzes together with your students. You can play Kahoot online by using the screen share of Zoom. However, sometimes or most often, our internet connection is so spotty and this makes playing Kahoot not a good idea. Luckily, Kahoot allows you to assign a quiz game to your students while they are at home. Here, you can choose the deadline for completing the challenge and randomize the questions. Click Create. Then, copy and send the link to your students. And yes, they can start answering the challenge after they receive the challenge code. Quizzes is another game-based learning platform that is a very colorful page. After you create your account at quizzes.com, you may start creating quizzes like in Edmodo or go to My Quizzes if you have already made one. Does it help us in distance learning? Like Kahoot, Quizzes will allow you to assign your quiz as homework. Just go to My Quizzes. Select your quiz, click Assign Homework, select the deadline for completion, continue, and ask your learners to go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the code. Kahoot and Quizzes have been my favorite game-based learning platforms because they will also give you the results of the quiz. Go to My Reports in Kahoot or Reports in Quizzes and download the results of the quiz in your class. You will see the score of each student and you can also view their answers for each question. The results can be used for giving feedback reviewing learning content which is unclear to the students, and focusing and strengthening students' skills that need improvement. Kahoot and Quizzes make the combination of learning and fun. We all love to discuss our lessons using Zoom. However, we can't avoid internet problems during the discussion. With this, asynchronous learning will be used. So I always prepare video lessons for my students. Yes, you have to face the camera and record your lesson. I use my vlogging camera and edit my videos using KineMaster on my phone. Let's watch the sample videos. Have your heart in your mouth. Look at the photo. Is it possible for your heart to be in your mouth? Hello learners, welcome to our new lesson. Today we are going to discuss persuasive speech. So what is persuasive speech? Always make sure that the quality of the lesson is the same as the quality you want them to get using Zoom or in the classroom. Always make sure that you bring your classroom magic into your video lessons. Make it colorful and animated. Make your voice encouraging and full of life. Instant communication can happen using our messaging apps. Messaging app can also be a powerful tool in online teaching. Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Line, Viber, and many more. In my teaching, I use WeChat because it is a messaging app that my students use. Here, I can easily send announcement, reminders, tasks, and even feedback can be done on a messaging app. Sometimes, I do my discussions on WeChat using voice messages when the other learning platforms fail to perform in class time. 
Yes, it might not be the best platform, but meaningful interaction can still be done if we set clear expectations to our students. Yes, in online learning, clear and specific expectations are needed for our students to be guided in their journey to online learning.